and I'm forever grateful that y'all seen it in your hearts to see that it was wrong. Tonight, former Balk Springs police officer Roy Oliver is now a convicted felon, guilty of murdering 15-year-old Jordan Edwards. Oh, thank you. The teen's family and friends filled with emotion after the jury's verdict. It's just not, it's not the same without Jordan around. It's, you know, we're missing, missing that one, one kid. Edward's father choking back tears on the stand, talking about his son, as jurors must now decide if Oliver will spend the rest of his life in prison. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for being with us at 10 o'clock. I'm Doug Dunbar. So he is guilty, and as early as tomorrow, we'll find out just how long jurors want him behind bars. Our Marianne Martinez gets, under, uh, gets us underway live tonight. Crowley Courthouse in Dallas, where the defense, Marianne, will have it say just hours from now. That's right, Doug. And tonight, that former police officer, Roy Oliver, already spending the night here in jail just next to the courthouse. Now, many people feel that this verdict handed down today could change how police officer shootings are investigated and prosecuted in the future. We, the jury, unanimously find the defendant guilty of murder as charged Gasps in the, in the courtroom as former Balk Springs police officer Roy Oliver is convicted of murder after 13 hours of deliberation. In April 2017, Oliver, then a police officer in a suburb southeast of Dallas, fired five shots into a car filled with teenagers. 15 year old Jordan Edwards was in the passenger seat of the car that was leaving a party. Well, I blame myself a lot too because I shouldn't have. I shouldn't let them go to the party. Jordan, an honor roll student and athlete who was nicknamed Smiley, was killed. His stepmother speaking directly to jurors after the verdict was announced. And I'm forever grateful that y'all seen it in your hearts to see that it was wrong. And I'm thankful because for once, I mean, it doesn't bring Jordan back, but we have some kind of closure. Oliver testified that he shot into the car, believing it was a threat to his police partner. Jurors saw police body camera footage and heard from Oliver's partner, who said he never felt in danger. Tonight, Governor Greg Abbott weighed in, tweeting that Jordan's life should have never been lost. I think departments are going to have to handle uh, their investigations much different. Uh, no longer do I think you're going to see chief of police and other officers coming out so fast. Now, Roy Oliver's mother and wife were in the courtroom as that verdict was announced. His lawyers telling us that they do uh, expect to be making public comments after the sentencing. Now, that could happen as soon as tomorrow. And Oliver is facing as little as five years and as much as a life sentence in prison. Reporting from Dallas, Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News. Marianne, thank you so much. And today on the stand, one of Jordan's teachers took time to speak about that special smile that Marianne had mentioned in the piece. And the head football coach also shared how Jordan's teammates are honoring him at his locker in the gym. It is left the same way it was from the last time he was in there, with the small exception of. Uh, all of the notes and letters and poems and pictures and <clears throat> excuse me and the things that people wanted to leave for him he was just very joyful um, he radiated joy as a kid he, he literally did have the biggest smile I've ever seen in my life <laughs> A teacher also says that Jordan's classmates also left his desk in class untouched so that no one sits in it. A lot of eyes on this case, certainly to say the least. A white police officer now convicted, of course, in the killing of an African-American teenager. The NAACP is praising the verdict that came in today, saying that the murder of Edwards robbed Jordan Edwards of the promise and the potential that was in store for that teenager. Historically, you know, you really haven't had nothing like this to, to happen. You know, in the state of Texas, in a long time, and these kind of cases are very seldom won throughout the nation. But today, Texas got it right. 
And in fact, Oliver's conviction is fairly rare when it comes to police shootings here in North Texas. Last May, we know former Dallas police officer Amy Wilburn was allowed to plead guilty to a misdemeanor charge of reckless discharge of a weapon. She had shot and wounded Calvion Walker, who was the passenger in a uh, stolen car. He didn't have a weapon at the time, and witnesses say that he had his hands up when he was shot. As part of the deal that went down, Wilburn will spend a year and a half on probation. And then also former Fort Worth police officer Courtney Johnson comes to mind. Courtney Johnson charged with aggravated assault for shooting in 2015. Johnson said that he had accidentally discharged his gun and shot Gregory Adams, who he thought was holding a knife at the time, turned out to be a barbecue fork. Johnson's case ended up in a mistrial last year. He was not retried, by the way. The city of Fort Worth settled also financially with Adams for $210,000. The sentencing phase, as mentioned, for Roy Oliver will continue tomorrow, first thing in the morning. We'll have Steve Pickett back in the courtroom for us through the day. Be sure to look for updates both on the air, online, and of course all across our social media channels.